Okay, let's have a look at the design tab on the left. If I open that panel, you can see that it says global design. And what that means is design work that you want to kind of transfer or be persistent throughout the site. So think of this in terms of styles or paragraph styles like you had in Muse. You can set global text styles, so we can set a consistent style for our paragraph. So we can go ahead and pick a different font. We can change the font size, the font color. There's a ton of text editing options in here, weights and line heights. Next, we just work through this box, changing things like the H1 global size, the H2 all the way down to H6. Once you have these set, when you drag an H1 widget out onto the page, it's just going to use the perfect text style and your site's going to look nice and consistent. Let me go back to the main panel, then we have global buttons. This is the same kind of story where if we add a button to the site, we want them to all look very consistent. So we can set a button style, there's a couple different ones predefined. We can go through and change the button text sizing, the button colors, pretty much everything we need to make them consistent. You also have global options for images. So we can set an image style anytime we drop an image out on the canvas. Do we want a border on it by default? Do we want rounded corners or a shadow? We can set site rows. This is a really powerful feature. So Architect uses rows and columns to construct the websites. However, when you drag a new row out on the canvas, you may want a certain background color by default. If you're building a dark site, you might want something like black or gray as your background color. You can also set row spacing. So if we want consistent padding between different sections on the site, we would set our default spacing in here. And the same goes for column spacing. We can set that globally here. These are just little tools that are going to help you maintain consistency on your site and save time tweaking the spacing for each section you design. Next up, we have the site background. So in the site background, we can set a consistent background for all pages. That could be a color or an image or we can actually set a background per page. This is a really interesting feature. So right now on this page, we have this kind of place setting background set for the home page. If we bring up that drop down, we can select any page and we can set a different background for each page. Setting a background image on a page allows us to do kind of this overlay effect where we've got tons of different items on top of it and our navigation scrolls over top. So pay attention to this area and don't forget that it's here because it'll probably come into your design more often than you think. Lastly, we have our site layout. This is really powerful. So our site layout lets you choose from a top header bar layout to a sidebar menu layout. And if I click that, I'll show you what happens. Now we get a sidebar. We could also change that site layout to be an expandable menu. So if I click that, you can see that now we have a hamburger here. And if I preview this, it brings out a sidebar menu. So these are all options that are built in by default without the use of third party widgets. We can do the same for our tablet and mobile designs. We have by default mobile hamburger menus and overlay menus. And you'll notice here at the top, it says an automatic backup is created for you when you change a site layout. Architect uses a backup system. So we can actually jump to our settings, backup site, and in here it says a backup before layout is being changed. And if I just restore those, you'll see that our site has gone back to how it was before we changed that. Anytime you make a big structural change like that in Architect, it's smart enough to know I should probably save a version of the site in this form. Hope you can see how powerful the global design options are in Architect. Next up, let's look at the Pages tab and how to build a navigation.